Welcome to the EasyLinks accounting video to learn how to enter receipts, run reports, and finalize deposits. This tutorial is intended for all users at an agency with EasyLinks accounting that can enter receipts, manage deposits, and view reports. Some agencies only collect customer payments for direct bill policies and need an easy way to track or report on those payments. If you don't have access to any of the features we show you today, please contact your agency admin. Now, let's get started. First, we'll go over how to enter receipts in EasyLinks. To do this, open a customer account and go to their Invoices tab. Scroll down to locate the receipts grid and click the Add Direct Bill Payment button on the right. For agencies set up with branch accounting, be sure to select the appropriate branch, then the policy. Notice the current day's date and payment to fields prefill but can be changed if necessary. Four payment types are available, cash, check, credit slash EFT, and forward. Credit slash EFT is used when the customer's credit card is charged and money is deposited to the agency's bank account before being swept by the carrier. Forward can be used when the customer's credit card is used, but no money enters or leaves the agency's bank account. We'll select check and enter the customer's check number. Enter the amount the agency will pay the carrier and the amount received field prefills. If the customer paid more or less than the amount due to carrier, be sure to change the amount received for accuracy. Check sweep account if the carrier is going to electronically sweep the agency's bank account for this payment individually. Use the add fee button if your agency charges any kind of fee for processing these payments. At deposit, we recommend selecting an existing deposit to add this receipt onto or leaving it none to add onto a deposit later in the day or week. The comments field is available for additional info if needed. When ready, click save. On the following page, the receipt can be printed for the customer via the actions drop down. Next, let's run a cash receipts report which shows all cash, check, credit slash EFT, and forward receipts taken. This step is optional, but it's helpful for getting a list of receipts entered for a specific date range. Hover over the accounting icon and select Reporting. Now, click on the Cash tab and open the Cash Receipts report. First, make sure the date range encompasses all the desired dates, and you'll notice all payment types are pre-selected for your convenience. To find receipts entered by a specific user, type their first name into Entered by Field. Agencies with branches can choose to filter or group by branch, if desired, but will click Run Report. All receipts are grouped by payment type with subtotals for customer payment type and a total for all receipts as well. To download this to your computer for printing, click this drop-down here to export to a selected format and click the Export link. Finally, it's important to finalize the deposit to ensure all receipts are entered and all payments are accounted for in your deposit. Most agencies make a bank deposit every business day, but if your agency makes bank deposits every few days or so, then you'll follow these next steps each time you make a bank deposit. To finalize the deposit, hover over the accounting icon and select Receivables. Now, click on the Deposits tab and the most recent deposits are located at the top of the page. If there is not a deposit created for the date you are needing, use the Add Deposit button on the right. If there is an existing deposit you would like to finalize, click the reference number to review all receipts included. If any receipts need to be added, click Add Receipt and check to select each receipt to include on this deposit. Click the Remove link on the right to save that receipt for a later deposit. Once all receipts are included, click Actions and select Edit. The control total should match the receipt total. When ready, click Save. Now, click Actions again and finalize the deposit. You can print a deposit summary to show subtotals for cash and check payments included in this deposit. This concludes our tutorial. You should now know how to enter receipts, run reports, and finalize deposits in EasyLinks Accounting. Thanks for watching.